Horns.com, Pro Tools 9 and 10, free class tutorials, beginning, intermediate, and advanced. Loop record. What's up, YouTube? It's Whitney Russell with DSHorns.com. Today's video is going to be on loop record and loop playback. All right, let's go ahead and do the playback first. Uh, the reason why you want to do playback, sometimes you might um, want to have a specific part of your song just uh, loop and keep playing back. You might want to practice something. Uh, you might want to just hear it, keep hearing one specific uh, part of the song. So let me show you how to do that. First, what you want to do is you want to highlight. If you want to um, loop record, you need to put this where you want it to start and then this is where you want it to end okay so that's where we want to start that's where we want to end you go to play hit your right click button and then you just hit your loop and that shall do it hit your play button <laughs> Okay, so you see how it basically looped again, and it'll keep playing for as long as you stop it. And that's basically how to loop rec loop play, playback. Now, how to loop record is basically the same thing. Let me scoot this in a little bit. Uh, let's just do it right. A lot of times when you loop record, you want to give it a little time before so that you'll understand when you're about to come in, and give it a little time afterwards. So we're going to record this symbol part and I'm going to show you and you right click on the record button and you put it on loop. Okay, we don't hear no sound. Oh, okay, I got it on mute. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, we're just going to do a simple symbol. Um, we're going to, I got my set up at the beginning, and it's going to stop at beat four. Uh, let's, let's just move it back just a little bit more. That's how you can move it back. And make sure um, to go here to set up. Go to preferences. And go to operations and make sure this button is clicked automatically create new playlist when loop recording go ahead and check that hit OK that's going to allow you to keep everything you record and, and be able to pick which one you want all right so we got the record going let's hit play and we're just going to start <laughs> Here it goes, I can do another one. Okay, so here's three. Alright, do one more. Okay, so those are all my four takes that I did. Now, let's say if I like um, take number three, you go to whatever you highlighted, you right click, you go to matches, and it has everything that you, that you recorded, all your loops. So I just did this, this is the last one I did, take nine, take eight, take seven, take six. I think I started with take six, seven, eight, nine. I did four, four takes, I did three. I think I like the third one, which would be this one, and you see they put it right there. And you just hit play. Okay, so those are all my four takes. I was recording myself with my vocals. So that's basically how you loop playback and loop record. And you can do the whole song like that. Uh, you can do um, pretty much any part 
of the song that you want by just moving these little cursors to wherever you want and highlighting what you want to loop playback and loop record uh, if you have any questions or if you want to view my other uh, tutorials beginning intermediate or advanced please go to dshorns.com if you need a horn section on your track horn solos piano chords piano solos or help mastering your track contact me at facebook.com backslash ds.horns or at dshorns at yahoo.com and please make sure to send me a friend request on facebook for pro tools updates and free plugins